All right, today on the table, I have the C308. And the LR308. Until just recently, I would have never made this video because there was only a price split of like 90 bucks. And for me, it would be a no-brainer. LR308 all the way. But now, there's a price split of $215, which is amazing. This being $215 cheaper than the LR308, which definitely makes me want to, you know, consider that rifle over this one. This will not be a glowing review. Weight, the LR308, or the C308, is quite a bit heavier than the LR308. Now, their website claims like 8.1. That's not even close. I mean, don't get me wrong, this isn't the most accurate scale. Well, yeah, I'm seeing somewhere like... Nine. Nine six. Trigger break. Really long, really gritty. Much better on the LR308. Uh, with the triggers, if you wanted to upgrade it, this would be a lot easier to do. There's just more parts available, parts are cheaper. Controls. Charging this, you almost have to hold it like this, pull it back, and then it can lock in. And you got your slap HK charger, like that a lot. Uh, there is no last round hold open on this. Safety, not too bad. You can just swipe it down with your thumb. Trying to put it back on safety though, it's quite hard to do from your normal shooting position. Coming off isn't bad though. Mag release next to impossible to get even with my middle finger uh, I pretty much gotta on shoulder the rifle come up like this hold the mag hit it pull it out and then put it back in mag coming in and out is also very hard I'm sure that'll change by you know what magazine you decide to use LR 308 You can pretty much actuate the safety coming off without coming off your normal shooting position. Going back on, I have to slide my thumb slightly forward and hit it like that. Mag release, normal shooting position. Mag comes out really easy, goes in really easy. The bolt release, not too bad. You can slap it, it's quite hard to do because this is gated in. You're better off just taking your thumb and pushing it. Now this rifle, the C308, you're stuck with this length of pull. Unless, of course, you change the stock. But then you're adding money to the rifle and it kind of defeats what makes that rifle awesome. So the way it sits, the LR308 has a shorter length of pull. And a slightly longer length of pull, which makes this rifle more versatile for more for a wider range of shooters. Now, would I pick the C308 or the LR308 right now because this is cheaper and it's ready to go? You already have sights. This has a rail, so you can put a scope on it, but I strongly recommend you don't do that, just because you're shooting position where you want your cheek is perfect for irons. You put a scope on, you gotta bring your head up. Then you start to get wobble and you're gonna run into parallax misses. I see another guy's video where he was saying, you know, you gotta run a really short scope, always the scope bell gets in the way of your 
charging arm. So we had to put a really short scope on this. Otherwise, you can't. You run into the charging handle and you smash your fingers. Yep. This one you got to get sights for. Uh, this will take a scope a lot better. You put a scope on here, put it up. You'll be in your normal cheek rest position. It'll work out quite well. Basically what I'm trying to say is if I want to just buy a rifle to shoot, leave it exactly how it is, this would be my choice. This isn't a very accurate rifle anyway. I'm seeing quotes like 3 MOA, 3.5 MOA. So basically you're not going to really be able to shoot past the limitations that the iron sights already give you. Your iron sights even have range on there. Dialing in the iron sight too, it's got an offset front pin, so you turn it, you're actually adjusting elevation and windage at the exact same time. So I don't know how tightly you'll be able to get it in there, but now if I want something, a rifle that'll adapt to me and I'll be able to grow into, I'd pick something more like this, this is going to be a more accurate rifle. I mean I could start with iron sights and later on go to a scope or whatever. Uh, when you purchase this rifle you do get four magazines. And a five round magazine. Uh, Sentry Arms is horrible at packing boxes. So you might only find a five round magazine in the box or, you know, five 20 round magazines. Uh, they will send you what's missing though. It just takes them forever to do it. And I'll put a link to my previous review video. This rifle actually came cell ready. I did not have to break this apart and clean it. The action worked right out of the box, which is pretty cool. Uh, the sights weren't rusted into place like I had said I had seen on my other ones. Huge improvement. Another thing I like about this is it's got a muzzle brake. For me, at least, shooting a 308, I gotta run a muzzle brake, otherwise the rifle is just uncomfortable and not fun to shoot. I think the overall look of this rifle is way better looking than this one. But thanks for watching. I hope this video helped make a decision for you, you know, if you're going to purchase the C308 or the LR308, and don't forget to subscribe.